Hi guys, I'm Dean Carter, or Prelodog, the project lead of Team Folon, or you guys might know it as the Fallout London project. Now many of you have been awaiting an update from us in regards to what's going to happen with Fallout London and the next gen update, and there's no time like now to tell you about it. Now, this has impacted us, and this is what I'm going to talk to you about today. This is somewhat of a prepared statement, but I'll try and look at the camera as much as I can and try and keep the jump cuts to a minimum. We'd hate to be seen as another Bethesda dev diary, okay? But for those unaware, Bethesda is scheduled to release an update to Fallout 4 just two days after our intended release date. Fallout London was due to come out in just under a fortnight now on the 23rd of April 2024, which is St George's Day. Now this is a special day for us London fans, not only because it's got the cultural aspect to us British folks, but also because it coincided with the starting day of the mod. When you jump out that test tube, it's the 23rd of April in game. And everything has been set to go since our last update. We've just been tweaking and testing non-stop in order to get things as stable as we can for you all in time for that release. But with the new update dropping just 48 hours later, the past four years of our work stand to just simply break. So as you can imagine, this will impact us and will cause complications for our release. Before any of you grab the pitchforks to go after Bethesda or tell us how we're idiots that you know how to stop the update, remember that you know how to do it, not the collective. And this is a collective project. We want everyone to have the past four year of our work come out and be the best mod possible for all of our followers, both modders and non-modders alike. Non-modders want to click and play they don't want to start rolling back updates and we want to incorporate this special mod that we've created for everyone. And also, it's simply not just a case of blocking the updates and hoping for the best, because if you don't do it properly, it'll also break. And we can't just ask you to drag things back in time. That's just not on the cards. We want this as close as a real game release as we can and offer all of you the best experience that you can get for everyone but it's just looking like this update will mean that that will take some time. So let's move on and talk about the next gen release itself. Now, the fact that Bethesda is keeping what is an old game updated is honestly a great thing. Honestly, it's very exciting. Many of the team is so excited to see this. On the technical front, being able to play Fallout London with the new potential engine improvements and the performance upgrades is fantastic. It's gonna mean that we can push the engine even harder than we've already pushed it. So we're gonna get these great like quality of life improvements all in the mod, and that'd be fantastic. There are people on our team and in the community that play on widescreen that our UI wasn't really working with, but now we can get that widescreen compatibility. This is all going to be a boon, but it comes at the cost of requiring many of our internal systems to be updated, which means we can say this with certainty that systems based on F4SE, which for those unaware is the framework behind basically all of the dialogue system in Fallout London and many of the other mods out there, that will break. That thing that you like will just break. Now our updated UI with many of the cool new features within the quests and the perk systems, that will also break. All of the amazing 2D art that you guys loved on the new perks and all the systems with the little family of the Protect and Survive, that will break. These will all require fixing as soon as that update drops. This goes without saying, that's not a question. Now, the majority of our world space is as dense and detailed as downtown Boston. And we all remember how that rang when that came out, so let's set on that the better. But we've spent more time than we can care to admit on fixing that so it didn't run like that, to make it as stable and optimized as possible. And we've had to put other systems in place to make sure that that happens. That's also going to break. And whilst we've largely achieved this goal in our system as it is, we know that those breaks are coming and that will make it run like Blamange. And we don't want you to be running around like that. So what's the worst part about these fixing needing to be done? Well, they're out of our control. The teams behind those systems, they're not a part of Team Folon or Fallout London. They're their own entity. And whilst we've reached out to them, they need to find that time to fix it. We're all volunteers, although everyone in the community is. So they have to fix it in their own spare time, their own free time, they have to fix this. We can't rush them. Um, they could fix it first day, next week, in a month. We just don't know. So whilst we're in contact, it's 
down to them. And it hurts me that we've done all this work and we are just waiting on these updates that have broke. It really, really actually pains me in the team because we have to twiddle our thumbs and just see when we can get this out to you guys. Let's talk about the Fallout Unknown release. It's a bit more uplifting. <laughs> We're unable to bring the mod to console platforms. Many of you know that and if you don't, surprise, we can't do it. <laughs> We'd hoped in vain that the new update would have allowed that. Um, but it's just simply too big. The mod is far too big. It's currently standing around 30 to 40 gigabytes. It's just not going to fit on the Xbox systems. I'm sorry, that's the truth of it. But we've also had the issue, I mean, don't get me wrong, they are brilliant and so supportive, but the guys over at Nexus Mods, we have tried to work with them to get out, but unfortunately the mod's just too big. They can't host it on their website. Simply put, Fallout London is just too large to go on the systems as well. So we were at the stage, we had this mod, we can't give it to you guys. But there was light at the end of the tunnel and that came from GOG. We've had some conversations with the technical boffins over at GOG and we now have a viable way to make the mod available for anyone who owns the game on GOG and Steam and perhaps even Epic Games once this new update from Bethesda comes out. GOG has honestly been our saving grace and we cannot recommend them more highly. They've been utter angels. But as it stands, we've had no insider help to make the mod stand alone. Bethesda has never reached out to us during our entire tenure. And despite their social media posts being about us, and despite the fact that they have put us on their load screen, that was only done through communication with the community manager. We've never had an in-depth conversation with them, ever. So even though we've done our best to try and make Fallout London standalone, the truth is that this is something that could only be achieved if Bethesda gets on board and allows us to do it. A bit like they did with Enderal back in the day, only then would it allow Fallout London to be a click and play. But until we have that conversation, it's just not going to happen. In saying that, we do have plans to make the distribution and installation as easy and seamless as possible via an installer or manual download for your preferred mod manager. So you're gonna get it. Rest assured that we will give you a much more exciting update once we've dotted the I's and crossed the T's and done everything on our side. Well, once we've fixed everything as well, we'll give you a little update on that. But now, for those of you whose eyes have just glazed over, let me just break it down for you and get down to the brass tacks. Due to Bethesda's release of Fallout 4's next-gen update being scheduled only two days after our public release, and due to the unavoidable fact that it's going to break our core systems, we will not be releasing on the 23rd of April as we had intended. Now this pains us, honestly, it really, really hurts us. We've had the release candidate up and ready to go, but we've just had to put it down in preparation for the fixes that we know it's going to need. That's just not optional, we have to take it down because it will break. As soon as those fixes are done, we can get it back up again. But those fixes are outside of our control. And whilst we will fix everything on our side as fast as humanly possible, <laughs> the rest of those updates will come when they come. So we won't give you a fancy release date announcement this time, because it might be on the 25th of April. We might get lucky with a day one fix. It's unlikely, but it could happen. Or it might be a month from now. But please know that in good faith, it's sitting there ready to go, just awaiting those fixes. As soon as we've fixed it, it'll drop. But yeah, Bethesda, Bethesda never changes. But stay tuned and I'll say the line. Stay safe and remember, mind the gap.